We are living in a situation whereby we already are faced by extreme climate shocks. We have extreme droughts, uh, flash floods, uh, unpredictable weather patterns and climate patterns, which affect planning in terms of production. So farmers are unable to plan accordingly, and therefore they miss season, or sometimes they, they do not plan. Formerly, we were like people who didn't know that the climate had issues. When we were clearing the land, we could clear the whole of it without even sparing any plant or any tree in the garden. The traditional way of farming cannot copy with it. the increasing need for this expanding population of humans and livestock. these farmers to be able to survive in already changed climate conditions. Now, by doing so, we have to look at the different interventions that will help this farmer uh, cope. Last year, we enrolled as part of the partners or part of the beneficiaries of Craft Project. And when Craft Project came in, it has changed our lives. When Craft came in, they had to support us strengths our extension services. Of course it was about co-funding. We sat on the table, we agreed to co-finance 50-50%. You see that the people who first meet the challenges, they are women, then youth. So we promoted them by giving them trainings of different skills, including even financial literacy, such that they are capacitated. Before, I never knew that seems to we plan in line. But Kraft taught us to plan seems in line. We as youth farmers did not know the value of high quality improved seed. So we could only rely on our local seed with their traditional approaches that we got our fathers, our parents uh, working on. The farmers are brought to do practically and they know that these things is done like this, like this. When they see and they practice it, it will never get out of their mind. Farmers are being advised, first of all, to use some of the practices like uh, conservation agriculture. Uh, we also need to plant in time to manage pests and diseases because due to climate change, there has been a lot of uh, infestation of uh, pests and diseases in this field. So we normally advise these farmers to do timely planting up to timely harvesting. After harvesting, Okeba comes in and helps me to show me how to store. Sometimes if you have some other disturbing factors like how to raise and, and um, drying it up, they help you and give you some items to use. And above all, it comes in and takes all the quantity you have. When you are in a season, you're not asking yourself where will I sell all this that I've planted. Previously, we had about five uh, permanent staff, but as I talk now, we have 25 technical staff and uh, over 100 casual workers, plus uh, over 200 local market facilitators. All those are employment that uh, was created due to the project. In, uh, in our store, we've been able to, to realize something like actually 35 tons which has never been the case. Many times we've been uh, really doing work here, and sometimes by this time there will be no sunflower in our store. But this year, there is still sunflower, which you can process even this month. Our machine right now, it can process like uh, 700 to 1,000 kilograms per day. And when we are processing like five kilograms of grain can produce like one liter of cooking oil. So when we are able to process 1,000, you can do that calculation. 
I acquired 40 kilograms from Okeba, Uganda, and I planted on two acres. And so far, I've harvested my last season and acquired 1,000 kilograms. We brought it very closely to the equity bank such that we are able to assist our farmers by giving them input capital at 1% interest rate per, per season, which is very small, very small. I'm a widow, but joining the cooperative, it made me who I am now. I managed to pay my school fees of my grandson. Now he's in senior five because of what I'm doing with crop. Through sunflower production, I managed to build a house for myself, which I did not expect that I would live in a permanent house. I personally, as a youth farmer, I have also started up smaller projects. I had a turkey project that, uh, that I established. We feel climate smart is a very good way of farming, benefiting the farmer, res uh, catering for the, these natural resources, and also reserving the environment. <laughs>